Nearly one in ten people in the UK suffer from anxiety and depression. Symptoms range from sleeplessness and fatigue to depressive thoughts and worry. There is a close relationship between mental well-being and physical health. Exercise can help to relieve the symptoms of depression and reduce stress and anxiety. Physical exercise can also improve motivation, but the main benefits of exercise in helping to lift depression is that you start to feel the effects instantly. Exercise gives you a natural high because it causes the brain to release serotonin, dopamine, norepinephrine and endorphins, which are known to have strong effects on mood, helping to reduce feelings of anxiety, stress and mild to moderate depression. Being more active helps you sleep, and as sleep problems are associated with depression, it can help with this condition. Lack of energy is commonly associated with depression, and energy levels are boosted by exercise. Even if you just go for a short walk, you will find yourself becoming more energetic. By feeling fitter and healthier, exercise allows people to gain a more positive body image, as well as boosting their self-esteem and self-confidence. This in turn means that they begin to socialise with more ease. Work-related stress affects about one in five workers, or approximately five million people. Stress and tension is also reduced by regular exercise. Exercise also helps clear the mind and unwinding and relaxing becomes easier. Stress-related conditions are now the commonest reported cause of sickness absence. 865,900 adults and incapacity benefit in England report their primary condition to be mental ill health. As well as engaging in more physical activity as a way of counteracting depression, some people benefit from talking to a counsellor or mental health specialist. Mental health services can be provided through your GP, other primary care services, or through more specialist care. This might include counselling and other psychological therapies, or community and family support. For example, people suffering bereavement, depression, stress or anxiety can get help from primary care or informal community support. If they need more involved support, they can be referred for specialist care. More specialist care is normally provided by mental health trusts or local council social service departments. Services range from psychological therapy through to very specialist medical and training services for people with severe mental health problems. About two in every thousand people need specialist care for conditions such as severe anxiety or psychotic illness.